back in the lines of game two of this exciting NBA playoff series. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg. Greg Anthony. D.A. will try to take it away. Well, thank you, Kevin. It has been unstoppable. David, thank you. So with Bryant sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. Chamberlain is out there with Nowitzki. Then it's Anthony. Then there's Carter. And it's Hill in at the point guard position. And for Chicago, we've got Johnson. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Duncan. And there's Shaquille O'Neal. And it's Jordan in at the shooting guard position. A look at Chicago. And being this close to the finals, they do not want to let this game get away from them. Yeah, it's not an elimination game, but there's a good chance this game will decide the series. They won't be holding anything back. I can tell you that for sure. Cloak loose. And it's the Bucks on the break. Hill leading the charge. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know, Carmelo Anthony is a special player. Bulky small forward with a quick trigger release and elite score. Both free throws good from Anthony. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Hill against Johnson. Passes to Jordan from outside the arc. Chamberlain with the rebound. the basket on the assist by Hill. Oh, great job by Anthony Keene. Right his balance, not allowing the contact to stop him from scoring. Johnson kicks to Jordan. Over Anthony. Chamberlain with the block. And they'll keep possession. Shot clock at six. From deep, Jordan gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. Zero hesitation. Jordan showing complete confidence in his shooting ability. Hill against Leonard. Hill dishes to Carmelo. It's back to Hill. Let's it go from 14. Great positioning on the putback. That's where Nowitzki's long arms help him on the glass. They're solid at using that length to reel in rebounds. Here's Jordan. The offensive rebound. Oh, and the dunk by Shaq. Whenever this big man gets fancy with it, O'Neal is a ridiculous dunker when he's this close to the rim. Hill looking it over. Here's Chamberlain from 13 feet. It goes down. And the offense, I mean, three or four, a solid start for this game. Jordan passes to Duncan. Kicks it out to Johnson. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And now, let's give you a look at the players who have stood out at taking high percentage shots in the playoffs. Look at O'Neal, leading the league in field goal percentage. He always gets good looks. And, of course, Tim Duncan. And they've both been extremely hot from the floor. Great timing on their part to get it going in the postseason. Chamberlain. And Chamberlain with the stuff. I'll tell you what, if you let Wilt get the ball there, that's the closest shot you can expect. The pass to O'Neal. And in on the way. Yeah, he, 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 he got to the 10. I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And, and team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. So Chicago ends up going with the new group. Some changes here for the Bucks. Bucks leading by three. Left side Butler. Over Morant. And that one's good by Butler. Butler gives you a little bit of everything. And that includes points from the mid-range. The Dekumbo against Diakovic. Two minutes remaining. Here's Gilmore. Two minutes. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. You have to love the unselfishness Defense on display the there. Excellent pass. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One of the strongest guys in the league ever. Artis Gilmore is an intimidating rim protector. You don't want to drive to the bucket when he's waiting in the middle. That could be painful. And here's Bryant for three. Good. And Butler 
gets the assist. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Pass to Embiid. Makes it off the glass. Powerful move by Embiid right there. He makes beating the defense look easy. Butler against Morant. Pass to Bryant from downtown. And another three for Milwaukee. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Here's Gilmore. Back to Embiid. Passes it to Gilmore. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Gilmore's got five points so far. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. On the basket by Kobe. Such body control from Brian. Able to take some hits there on the way up. Three-pointers to Jakovic. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. Kudos for the effort, but he got there a little too late. We've got 33 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Pass to Durant for three. It's deflected. So hard to get a shot past Artis Gilmore because he's big, he's deep, and he's got those long arms. Nice block there. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three point. You have to avoid fouls like that. As a defender, challenge the three point shooter, but run by him, not into him. And he makes all three. Butler's leadership the last few years has really been admirable. I mean, the guy simply wants to win, and he's willing to pay the price to do so. Here's Gilmore. Nifty move. They get it back. Out to Morant. Over Butler. And it's Morant missing. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bucks? The defense has been giving them plenty of mid-range jumpers, and they've been making them pay for that mistake. And guys, they've also done a great job generating offense from their defense, forcing turnovers and making the defense pay for those mistakes. So with Leonard on the bench, here's the group. Billy Donovan is on the floor. We've got Joel Embiid. John Morant, he's out there. Pages to Yakovic. Then it's Pippen. And it's Gilmore in at the five, roaming the paint. Embiid against Novitsky. Pippen, the pass to Gilmore. Back to Pippen. Over Anthony. And the shot is good. The box lead has been cut down now to just four in the basket from Pippen. I think this is one of the sweet spots for Pippen's jump. He thrives in the mid-range game. Anthony against Diakovic. Anthony kicks to Chamberlain. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. We play just over a minute of basketball here in the second Vince quarter. Carter. Carter against Diakovic. Inside. Embiid, the pass to Morant. Here's Gilmore. Shoots from the baseline. And the Bulls tack on two more. And how about the assertiveness from Morant? Wasting no time firing. Love his approach. Carter outside. That's the Chamberlain. He gets it in there. Chamberlain got four points now in the quarter. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And that one's good, Morant. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Morant against Hill. Nowitzki outside. Pass to Chamberlain. Five to shoot. Nowitzki dishes to Chamberlain. Out to Carter. Pippen with the steal. Morant passes to Stiakovic. Now here's Embiid. 
Morant surveying the D. He takes it in, and then Morant slams it in. Yeah, that's fire right there. Morant practicing for the dunk contest. I see you, young fella. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They easily took Thursday's game. Yeah, that one was all about offensive execution. Running your plays. You know, not deviating from the game plan is critical. You've got to trust in the system. And Milwaukee with a whole new lineup now. It's Durant on the wing. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Durant's got himself on the board with three there. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. The of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Jordan against Abdul-Jabbar. Tries again. Butler with the steal. And here we go. Giannis heading to the hoop. And Antetokounmpo swims it in. And Antetokounmpo is really an absolute terror in the open floor. I mean, love seeing a guy his size run the floor the way he does. Wow. Impressive. Here's O'Neal. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And Shots good. have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Shots good. Defensive and turning down what would have been a tough shot for himself into an first easy one for foul. his teammate. And he's Second got his first team chance team. at the line here. That's good from O'Neal. You know, Shaq is a nightly double-double threat and a behemoth in the paint. Really a powerful, powerful force. Passes to Abdul-Jabbar. Sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Chicago. Seven point differential. Here's Shaq. That's his fourth basket of the game. And he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Couldn't tell if they tried to foul Shaq here, but didn't matter. Outside, KD. Here's Kobe. It's blocked by Shaq. They get a hand on it. Johnson with it. Picked up by Kobe. And a wide open look for Jordan. Again, Chicago. Boy, oh, good work from the big, big man. Shaq knows exactly when to find the open man. Butler dishes to Kobe. Durant for three. The Bucks keep it going. A new 14-second clock. Here's Jordan. That will count. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And some good action through the first two quarters. 34. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us. And here we go. Heading back to the action here in the Eastern Conference Final. Really an incredible game from Shaquille O'Neal. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. Yeah, you know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do. Using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. So with Kobe sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. Carter is out there with Hill. Then there's Nowitzki. Then there's Chamberlain. And it's Anthony in at the three side. Hill. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. Grant Hill showing you he can get physical when he has to. Absorbing that contact. Actually seeking it out to draw the foul. Oh, free throws. Good from Hill. Bulls trail by five. And stolen by Chamberlain. This is it to Nowitzki. A shot by Carter. Nobody around. Vince and it's good. Assisting on the play was Nowitzki. Carter's got six points. Hey, that stroke from Carter, as smooth as a baby's bottom. Oh, and the dunk by Shaq. Save that one. Boys, I'm going to want to see that a few times. Oh, me too, right? Jaws on the ground all over this building. I wonder how long he's worked on that. First, you got to think it up. Then, you got to bring it to reality. And the dunk by O'Neal. Well, here's a center who can put up 40, 50, 60. I mean, there's really no limit to what Shaq can do scoring the basketball. Anthony in the corner. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. The first free throw is good. 
at the line for the Bucks. Carmelo and both free throws good from Anthony. Bulls trail by eight. Johnson, the pass to O'Neal. Carter against Jordan. Over Carter. And he wills that one in. Jordan. Sinking right through off the back iron. And when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. To the paint, here's Chamberlain. And Chamberlain with the stop. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Jordan dishes to dunk. It's blocked by Shaq. Nice timing on that rejection from Shaq. Demonstrating why. You gotta take him seriously as a defensive player when he's lurking near the bucket inside. Here's Jordan. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Jordan's got nine points. Oh, it's been a great start for this offense here in the second half. Four for four. Hill against Johnson. Johnson with the block. Goes to show you how well Johnson anticipates. Sees the shot forming and is able to get a hand on it. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Yeah, outstanding Deep job the there of taking the harm and still able to finish. Yeah, he imposed his will on the defense that time. He was not going to be denied right there. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game. And the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Chicago are going with an almost entirely new group here. Embiid, he's checked in for O'Neal. Pippen comes in for Tim Duncan. Ray Allen, he's checked in for Jordan. And it's Peyton in for Magic Johnson. Here's Kobe. And Kobe throws it down. Coming in hot. Bryant sees an opening and dives inside for the throwdown. Two minutes. Here's the pass to Pippen. How Embiid. From deep, pocket six. Leonard attacking. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. And throw it down. Oh, boy. That was nasty. Love watching him go hard and attacking with power. Durant with a wide open look. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Three. Butler's got six assists now in the game. Here's Leonard. Bucket is good. Leonard's got four points now in the quarter. Oh, it's not easy trying to guard Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. Drills the three-pointer. And the Bucks lead by nine. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And Leonard gets it to go. And down. Showing good recognition on that play to set up a teammate for the basketball. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. They get it back. And to Takumbo. A second chance effort. The shot by Kobe. No good. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. That's it in the Milwaukee lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Allen. Has the pure athleticism. Allen gets it done inside. And slam dunk by Butler. Outstanding distribution there. Man. What impressive pass in the middle. Pippen outside. Peyton left side. And oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter! 
One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept it. Many other points coming right at the rim. We'll get the game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. We've got Al. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Joel Embiid. Then there's Peyton. And it's Pippen in at the small forward position. And Hill throws it down. How about the vertical of Hill? Outstanding. And rising up and ramming it home. Yes, sir. Here's Allen. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Hill against Peyton. It's tipped and stolen by Peyton. Here's Leonard. That falls. Nice feed that time from Scotty Pippen. And Scotty Pippen so good at surveying the floor. Like seeing him find the open man with those sweet dishes. Hill with it. Now Peyton defending. The three from Anthony. No good. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. And it's Pippen in the corner. Connects from the three-point range. Pippen with a really confident-looking stroke, taking full advantage of the short corner three. Timeout called the Bucks. Trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Thanks, Kevin. Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team during the break. He's encouraged where they are at this point of the game, but he told his guys things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. Thanks, David. Leonard inside, covered by Giannis. And Bede kicks to Allen. Five on the clock. Here's the three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Abdul Jabbar's got rebound number five here tonight. And Kobe throws it down hard. Lightning quick off the bounce. Bryant, one of the better athletes to ever play this game. Chicago calls timeout. Our loudest fans are getting t shirts. Who wants one? On the court. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Kobe with the steal. Duncan with the block. And setting the tone with that rejection. Duncan, the defensive anchor of this team. Ryan against Jordan. Here's Shaq. And it's good. Yes, Assisting on the play was Jordan. Jordan's got his sixth assist on the night. Milwaukee leading by six. Pass to KD. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. Focus. Intense focus. Durant has bundles of it. Once he catches the rock, the first thing on his mind is let it go. Outside Stojakovic. No good. Shot missing. And Milwaukee will come the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. And perimeter scoring. I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. 131 left in the fourth quarter. Well, he wanted to return the favor there for that last three, but it just wasn't in the card. Lays it up and banks it in. KD's got the lead up to 13 now for the Bucks. Yeah, you know, at first glance, you might think Durant has trouble finishing through contact, but think again, folks. I mean, you can't measure desire by body type. 
Looking to end the run, and that's good for two. Jordan's got nine points here in the second half. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. What a game and moment for these guys. One they'll likely never forget. I mean, they've come away victorious. And the next stop is the NBA Finals for Milwaukee. They found a great rhythm from long range. First yeah, Kevin, foul. every time they left First a man team open foul. deep, it, he'd get a good shot at the basket. Didn't hesitate, and that aggression paid off. That free throw foul. good from Butler. Second team foul. At the line. Both shots good from the strike. Chicago with the ball. Down by 15. Here's Jordan. The putback. It's good on the putback. Because Shaquille O'Neal is so big and so athletic and so relentless, it's really hard to keep him off the glass. Well, their passes to Abdul Jabbar. And he makes that one. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. Chicago ball. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. You know, the combination of size, speed, and length that Johnson has, really um, pretty unique for a point guard. Second chance shot. Pass to Jordan. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. And here's Kobe for three offline. And so the Milwaukee Bucks take the series. The They'll move on. And you can see the elation on their faces. I mean, not just happiness, but pure excitement and joy to be headed to the NBA Finals. A tremendous opportunity now, just four wins away from a championship. Yeah, and, and so close. I mean, they can practically taste it right now, but, but it's not going to be easy. Those next four wins are going to be the most difficult of the season if they can get them. But no matter what happens, I think the accomplishment of winning the conference championship is something this franchise and its fans will always remember. And they'll represent the East in a final series that's mere days away. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Greg Anthony, Clark...